Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. This past Saturday, the 10th of Safar, 1445, or August the 26th, 2023, at Masjid Tawheed wa Sunnah in Durham, North Carolina, we did the same thing that we have done for the past 21 years by the mercy of Allah Azza wa We had class after Fajr prayer. This has always been our mode of classes is on the weekend after Salat al-Fajr, then we have class. And alhamdulillah, the masjid was very crowded. A large crowd came out for the prayer and to sit for the class. And as I looked at the large crowd, I began to wonder why is it that some people have teachers in their community, but they do not attend the classes? People who are healthy, they're not working. Why do you not attend the classes? Some people, they will travel out of state to attend a seminar, and this is great. Traveling to another state for a lecture or a seminar, this is great. Some people, they go to the internet and they post lectures from seminars around the world. This is great. But how about those regular classes in your masjid? Why do you not attend those classes? Here we are reading the three principles by Imam Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahhab, may Allah Ta'ala have mercy upon him, explained by Sheikh Salih Fawzan. And the classes only last about 20 minutes. After this class, some brothers sit and have Arabic class. And it's a wonderful time, a lot of learning. It reminded me of a narration of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allahumma barik li ummati fi bukuriha. O Allah, bless my nation in its morning. So there's a lot of blessings in the morning time. And it reminded me of a statement that we used to say when I was in the army. We do more before 9 a.m. than most people do all day. And so by Allah's mercy, we could say we learn more before 9 a.m. than most people learn all day. And it's not only learning, but we're building love and brotherhood. Sheikh Uthimeen, he mentioned a statement from one of the Salaf that he said that if the kings and their children knew what we have, meaning of joy of the heart, they would contend with us for it by the sword. They would try to take it from us. The joy that a person gets from learning his religion. Alhamdulillah, Many brothers have said, many brothers have mentioned that their wives are a great encouragement for them to come to the prayer and attend the classes. Some brothers mentioned that if they make too many prayers at home, their wife will begin to ask them, are you sick? Do you need gas? Are you okay? As a way to encourage them to go to the masjid and learn. And also you come to the masjid and you teach your sons to come and seek knowledge. Some brothers have said, I come to the masjid and I pray and leave. Okay, that's great if you live in a community that has a masjid of Ahlul Bidah, but you live in a community with a Salafi masjid. It's not praiseworthy to just come, pray and leave and not sit in the classes. Why not sit in the classes and learn your religion? You know, if Allah Ta'ala wills, if He wills, we, our children or our grandchildren, we may encounter a Dajjal. We may have to encounter a Dajjal. So we have to fortify our religion for this great fitna and learn. So if you have teachers in your community, take advantage of it and don't take it for granted that that person is always going to be there to teach or that you are always going to be there to learn. So just some encouragement for the brothers, wherever you may live, if you have teachers, educators in your community, come out to the classes, fight against your soul and come out to the classes and learn your religion. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Nabi Muhammad.